excited to go 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 live everyone um it's midday half past midday it's the 12 noon at 12 30. the morning has gone quite well i've managed to get home to do the movement snack from my garden and um i shall be going back to the primary school in a bit just to do round two of the day see how many girls we can get playing football um, let's see how many we can get now doing the movement snack. How many can I recruit, encourage? Um, hopefully you're informed that the uh, 12 noon was coming in a tiny bit later. Uh, but if not, I hope you've not been looking at for me for ages. And uh, I hope you us again to do the catch up. Um, so like I say, just in the garden, the chicken has been treated to a new enclosure it's not quite been fitted in the place where we want it to go just yet but uh, time is running out this side of the holiday um, so I'll have to be when we come back from holiday that um, the chicken gets a brand new house in a pot. Ah, 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 here we are Right, let's stop messing me about now, 4G. Let's um, let's get this show on the road. So, uh, lovely to see some of you coming in. Um, found a spot uh, just outside the chicken's new uh, wire house. There we go, how was that? Yep. Go in. Right, here we are retreating inside everybody to get a uh, better connection connection okay hang on yes right let's have a look could that be better yes lots of buffering uh hopefully now i'm inside that should be a bit better so let me just draw you in stand tall sit tall use of external support you know where it is in your house you know the area um, so stand tall, sit tall, start pedalling the legs when you're ready. Let's boost the circulation. Let's get our body moving, especially if you've been in, in any period of time when you've been sat still, not moving very much, not very active. Start to pick up the knees into a leg march. If you are taking up seated positions, we hip walk forwards. Hip walks, never to be underestimated, the value of a hip walk. Hip walks get us forwards and back, comfortable, on and off the bed, chair, sofa, settee. Um, any place that we sit on, we may well use some hip walks to manoeuvre ourselves around whatever we're sitting on or trying to get comfortable on. So hip walks, properly, properly proper important. Let's get some arms in, swinging from the shoulders. Working both arms together or working one arm at a time. You may need that uh, touch down on external support. Swap and change from right arm to left arm to give both sides a fair share into this arm swing. Um, so loosening, uh, moving, warming, uh, increasing breathing capacity a little, well not capacity, in breathe, increasing your breathing rate slightly and your heart rate as well. And that's pretty much all we need of a circ boost. So steady yourself down, bring yourself back to a pause and hold it there. All right, so Let's have a look at a little um, bit of a, a flamingo swing in action, which will challenge your balance. It will move and swing through the hip and um, set yourself up with your standing leg nearest to the support. So your outside leg is free in the space around it. To add a little bit of comfort to the standing knee, just a small bend looseness into it, but strong through the hip, just so that we're not kind of sitting into the hip, we're standing up out of it. And that's before we've started the movement. 
So you might want to start with your foot back, toes lifted. Here's our standard one leg stand. And then we brush the foot through, lift the knee to around hip height, and then brush it back. Just making sure you've got enough space behind you. Swinging through that position. If that feels okay, lighten your support and do a few swings, six, eight, ten swings, and then turning around to start again. Now, here with the uh, seated option, we are going to do a swing in action, but mostly through the arms. So press the arms back and then swing and reach forwards and then swing and reach, press the arms back there. Swing and reach forwards, swing and reach back. Moving to where the shoulders of course are comfortable. You might not quite get the highest level reach that I'm doing here. It might be somewhere slightly in front of you. The trunk is strong as you come through this swing in action. And then what we can do is here, lift the knee, and as we press back, we can lift the same knee and then go through on the, the opposite side. So the first knee lift and then the second knee lift is the same leg that you're lifting. So a bit of coordination for you there. And then you swap sides. So we've got body moving out of the hips. We've got shoulders moving, swinging through the arms. We've got some weight shift and transfer, and we've got a little bit of a, a knee lift there as well. You might feel that pinch into your hips slightly, but that's okay. It's doing what it, it, it should be doing. And of course, this coordination um, is being challenged as well. So for those of you in standing, less coordination challenge, but more of a balance challenge. Um, feel, feeling some strengthening through the standing leg and hip. The knee stays bent at about a right angle at the back here and about a right angle at the knee lift to the front as well. Lightening support will challenge your balance. And we've got a little bit of momentum and if we overbalance we've got the uh, the leg on the outside that's able to react and respond you're going to feel a little bit of a squeeze into the buttocks there as you draw your leg back and there we have your flamingo swing balance challenge and your flamingo, we'll call it a flamingo seated swing with coordination challenge. All right, take a pause there, have a rest. Now, moving on then, um, let's have a look at, I think we did grip yesterday, didn't we? We did grip yesterday and we're going to have a look at upper back strengthening today. If you've got a stretchy band, get your stretchy band. These can be used in a multiple, multiple ways. Um, there are different colours identifying different band strengths. But even if you've only got one band strength, you can double it over or even triple it over to give a really, uh, well, to just lift the resistance and the effort level. Or you can work with a tea towel, which of course is a bit stiffer it's not got the stretchability to it but we can still feel the effort through the pulling that we're doing choose your choose your weapon sit or stand elbows into the side flat forearms strong through the wrists you'll feel the grip working to secure what you're holding and just try and pull the fists outwards. Now, if you're working with a band, you're going to get some movement there. If you're working with a tea towel, 
it will just be effort that you're feeling rather than movement that you're seeing. Once you've got that pull into place, draw the elbows back and then follow it up with a pinch and a squeeze of the shoulder blades together. Seated, you might feel better coming down into seated. Sit tall, um, arms are just lifted away from the thighs and we are strengthening these kind of pulling muscles. Grip strength, wrist strength, forearms, upper back, shoulders, rear part of your shoulder muscles there. And by pulling wide and opening out, we're getting a little bit of external rotation, which is good to apply to the shoulders because it kind of counterbalances this rolling forward or this internal rotation of the shoulders that can happen when our postures start to change. Feeling that right between your shoulder blades and this uh, band or tea towel is pulling to just about where your waistband cuts across your belly. Shoulders uh, are pressed down. If you think of the times where you grasp something, pull it towards you, it might be the mower, a hoover, it might be um, a wheelbarrow, it might be the shopping trolley or heavier items like that that require a bit more strength to do so. Take a pause there. I'm gonna tell you what, just put in a couple of shoulder rolls as well. All right, take a pause there. Okay, so we just did some um, hip work, some balance work with the um, leg moving upwards, downwards and backwards. Slight change here on hip manoeuvre. You remember in the sway, we kind of got this movement through the sway of the arms. We're gonna try and replicate that sway through the arms, through the sway of your leg. You might want your external support in front of you if you've got enough room to move, or you might want to have it to the side of you. So just turn the knee in. Yeah, I'm on the table. <laughs> turn your knee in, turn your knee out. Let the knee just stay bent slightly and feel the opening up there and then Closing and crossing across the body. So just let your lower part of your leg just hang there and then draw in. Just think about a figure of eight with your knee. A few of those, five, eight, ten of those on each side here in seated. Sitting tall. Um, we're going to try and leave the foot down on the ground here and just turn in and turn out. So leave the toes there, turn in, turn out. So we've got an inwards and an outwards, like closing the page and opening the page of your leg there. Again, five, eight, ten on each side. Coming up into a heel raise, in and out. Just rolling in, opening out. At the same time, sitting tall, high, perched onto your sit bones best you can. We need to take our legs through inward motions, outward motions, uh, outward motions when we're stepping out of a car and uh, out of a bench or a, a a booth seating area, something like that. And again, five, eight, ten of those should be around the right amount. Standing strong through this leg, if you're in standing, you will probably feel that standing leg, feel the effects of your weight only being shared through that leg. Ooh. You might feel a little bit of a balance challenge as I just did then as well. 
flowing figure of eight drawing with the knee. I can feel that. Okay, there we have. Oh, much better now I came inside, eh? I don't know why, but 4G just kind of, it let me talk for a couple of minutes and then it went, no. Um, right, everyone, you're probably just wondering what I'm looking at. I can see the tiniest spider just kind of making its way up towards the ceiling again. Little money spider. Anyway, have a good afternoon. Um, thank you, Odile, George. Odile, George, Carolyn, Sandra, Red Rita. Thanks for coming along for this um, slightly delayed 12 noon. Beck should be with you at 4 p.m. Keep an eye out for our welcome message. And uh, it's adios, bon voyage. Well, to myself. Not said I've gone on holiday, have I? No, no not very much at all. Uh, I'll see you in about 10 days time. Take care, everyone. See you soon.